Do you want to be a bitch? I don't want to be a beast. Oh yeah! What's up Shredded? Welcome to another edition of... Muscle... Corner. Yeah. So in this episode, I'm going to be looking at a question I've been asked a lot in Sat's YouTube channel, in YouTube comments, and a lot on the forums, is how to eat to gain weight and specifically how a beginner should eat to gain weight so it isn't hard to gain weight but if you want to gain quality weight then you need to have some sort of precise measurements and you need to know what to eat when you know what to eat it's pretty straightforward if you just stick to it then you can add the weight you can add the muscle and you can become a shredded so what I'm going to be telling you in this video is just things that work for me. You might find that it doesn't work for you. You might find that this is just bro science. Or you might think I'm talking complete bullshit. Oh yeah! But it's worked for me. So if you want my advice, I'm going to give you what's worked for me. And this is it. What you're going to do is take your current body weight in pounds. So let's say you're 200 pounds. Take 200 pounds times that by 20, the big 2 -0. then that will give you the total amount of calories that you need for the day. So you'll be looking at 4,000 calories for a 200 pound meal. So you want to then divide that down into your macros, which is your protein intake, carb intake, and your fat intake. A lot of people in the first start of weight training think, oh, protein, protein, protein. I did it when I very first started lifting. Just thinking protein is going to get you muscle. It doesn't. Protein helps muscle recovery. It helps rebuild the muscle. But you need carbs to add the muscle size and the muscle mass. So so, like I said, this routine is just for pure mass. If you want to be 150 pound swaggers, ripped to bits, having all the all the little boys after you, then you can go ahead and buy some garbage, get ripped in six weeks, six pack shark workout. But this is for adding some quality muscle and just some mass to become a beast. What you want to do, divide the 4,000 calories into 60% carbs, 30% protein, and 10 fat. So in each one gram of carbs and in each one gram of protein, you've got four calories. In one gram of fat, you've got nine calories. So you want to take your 4,000 calorie total, have 60% of that. So 2,400 calories from carbs, which would break out roughly 600 grams of carbs a day. You want your protein to be 300 grams. And then your fat, you just have with the rest of that. Don't be too worried about eating foods for your fat because if you're having things like eggs, semi-skimmed or pole milk, as I like to call it, blue milk, then you'll be getting fat from just the regular foods that you're taking. You won't really need to eat anything specific for fats. Maybe some nuts, peanut butter before bed or something like that. I'll be doing videos about what things you could be eating and what a diet should look like for mass building. So just subscribe or keep an eye on the channel for those types of videos. But to summarise, you need your free calorie intake for a 200 pound meal you'll need to scale this depending on you are times it by 20 you want 60 percent of your your daily intake from carbs 30 percent from protein and 10 percent from fat so you want to divide that into however many meals you have a day now here is some more bro science if you're 200 pounds and you need to be having 4,000 calories a day doing that in three meals is probably going to be quite difficult i like full on the old tested eating every two and after three hours um style of eating now if you want to call that bro science you can i don't give a flying fuck but chances are you're probably some 150 pound 16 year old person who's been on the bodybuilding forums and think thinks that you know it all i'm not saying i don't know it all but this is just what's worked for me so because i'm more than 150 pounds i've been heavy i've been strong i've been light and i've been ripped i do I could, i'm talking from my experience so i would definitely recommend trying to eat every two to three hours just well every two and a half to three hours just because for me i find it easier eating often rather than having huge meals and then going for periods of time where you don't have anything you're probably going to be overeating if you're sitting to three meals a day in each session and I think it's just better to have meals through the day spread evenly. If every meal is evenly spaced through the day, so every two and a half, three hours, then you never should be too hungry. The biggest problem you'll find when you're bulking or when you're trying to add mass is that you'll probably find yourself force feeding, which if that's happening, then you might want to scale your food back just a little bit. Remember, this times 20 is just a good start. You might find yourself putting too much fat. You might find yourself putting weight on right. So you just want to gauge it and you see how, how it works for you, how it best works for you. So, yeah, eat every two and a half to three hours. Real food is always better than supplements, but if you're just starting out and you find that having protein shakes is easier, then go ahead and have the protein shakes. It's better to get the protein into you, it's better to get the carbs into you than having nothing at all. So, that pretty much summarises just the overview of how you want to 
of how much you want to be eating to put on mass. Rem remember, this isn't just pure lean muscle gain. You won't end up looking ripped and have a six pack from this plan. If you follow on this sort of diet, you'll become strong, you'll become big, you'll become intimidated, you'll become free, you'll become a shredded beast. And that's what you want out of bodybuilding. And that's what you want out of shreddy brick. Big balls served up nice for you getting big bad the big bad wolf. If you want to become a beast, then I'd recommend that you follow this video for the diet. If you want more information on what food you should be eating, then subscribe and click on the links below. Click on the Shreddy Breck, because I'm going to be putting up more meal videos and what you should be eating for mass gain and gain and mass. That concludes this video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video and if you're going to sort of follow my advice, then of course hit the thumbs up button. Give it a cheeky share and become a shredded and subscribe today. Never miss out on a video from Shreddy Breck. So I'll leave you with one question. Do you want to be a bitch or do you want to be a beast? Oh yeah!